Hi, Jeff here with another exciting issue of Mattress Retailer Weekly. And I have to admit, this past week I was duped. I got tricked. I was reading an article on Furniture Today uh, written by Bill McLaughlin. I've got the link here in this week's issue. You can reference it. But I read the article literally twice and I said, you know, all of that sounds very familiar. And it turns out it was because he was talking about me and the interaction that we had at betting conference in Florida two weeks ago. So basically his question to the retailer panel was, aren't we confusing a tried and true, consistent, systematic sales process with customer experience? Shouldn't customer experience be a more really about sensory engagement, not so much about sales? And my response to that is what I want to share with you this week, because we really didn't go he didn't really go in depth into the article about my specific response, just more the global answer. And I will freely admit, listen, having a well built out store, a good looking store, a store that incenses all that engages all the senses, sound, sight, touch, feel, all of it, you know, smell, all of it is very important, but it can all be very much undone with a very poor sales process. You know, listen, the, the net result, the thing that sits on the equal sign of everything that is the retailer equation is today, that equal sign has to answer ultimate mattress buying experience. That That's just simply what has to exist. Everything else in front of it, if you go back to basic high school algebra, the plus, the minus, the stuff in the parentheses that gets multiplied and divided first, and then you add and subtract, I failed algebra, I'm not all sure I just described that right. But the reality is whatever's on this side of the equation has to equal amazing mattress buying experience. And I can tell you the one common denominator underneath all of that is the underlying fear that lies within every customer walking in your store, calling your phone, hitting your website. The number one fear in making their purchases, they're going to screw it up. Which is why the online guys have been so meteoric in their rise because their big value proposition is you don't even have to worry about screwing it up. Screw it up, like it, love it, anything in between, just send it back and we'll give you all your money. See, that's the number one denominator, the fear of screwing it up. So yes, my answer was absolutely a well-defined, over-managed sales process from your greeting all the way through to the closing when they leave your store. Absolutely has to be over-managed. You have to install key metrics all the way through that you can manage with your staff and say, are we delivering the absolute best experience in the moment so we can satisfy that common denominator of screwing it up? You know, I'll give you a little tip here. We overmanage our greeting, two words, and you've heard me talk about them time and again. Tell me why you're shopping for a mattress. It's an emotional response that the brain cannot answer with the typical armor that the customer puts on that says, I'm just looking, okay? It can't be answered with those two words. It is a connective phrase that immediately requires engagement and thought from the person in front of you. See, that's where you kick off a great experience. So yes, salesmanship, sales process is part of the experience. I mean, listen, the, the end result of the experience is dollars changing hands for tangible goods. That's the, that's the net result of a customer experience. The salesmanship absolutely has to exist and absolutely has to be a part of that process of creating a wonderful mattress buying experience. Now, the other thing that's happening right now in our industry is thankfully, and I'll go on record and say this, our industry's largest retailer, mattress firm, gave a wonderful presentation at Betting Conference all about them improving their mattress buying experience. And I applauded Sam Woods, who gave the presentation for mattress firm. I said, this is amazing. If our industry's retailer is gonna to commit to all of these things in this presentation, I think it's amazing because that rising tide is going to raise your ship if you allow it to. If you cut the anchor 
that's got you in harbor, when that uh, tide rises, you've got two choices. Cut the anchor, rise with it, respond, improve your experience, so you can continue to compete on a level playing field, or stay strapped to that anchor. And guess what that rising tide's gonna do? Come up over the sides of your ship and sink it. So we're, you're at, we are at, retailers are at, Main Street retailers right now are at a moment in time where you absolutely positively have to commit to the customer experience. It's all anybody's looking for today. We have an entire generation of people age 20 to 30 who have foregone the safety and security of things that I grew up with that I knew to be part of the American dream. 401k, a home, a career, working at a, at a job for a long period of time. Things that we thought were safety, the generation right behind me says no thanks. We want experiences. We want to experience as much of life as possible. We want to enjoy as much of life as possible. And I know of no other thing any generation can buy than a mattress that can improve all of those life experiences and allow somebody to have even more of them because they're more energized, they're healthier. So it's time for us right here, right now, to really commit to a wonderful mattress buying experience. Now, whether you look to me for more of that information, you know, I've been talking about an event we're hosting, information's at the bottom of this screen, just click on it, you can get all of it. I've got a few seats that remain. Listen, whether you work with me or anyone else, I really don't care. I mean, I, I do of course care, I want you to work with me. <laughs> shameless plug but the reality is you need to commit to this this is like project number one right now shoring up building on a foundation of wonderful mattress buying experience sales process is absolutely the cornerstone because again it will eradicate that common denominator of people being afraid of making a mistake in their purchase okay so when you look at it, your number one thing through the rest of the half of this year, I mean, I really can't believe that we're getting into June. Uh, my next issue will be in June, if you can believe that. And at this point in time, we've got half a year left. The largest player in the industry is doubling down on the customer experience. The online guys are already well out in front of it. When are you going to catch up? What will you do to improve? your mattress buying experience. Thanks for tuning in to this week's issue. As always, I welcome feedback and would love to hear what you've done with the insights from this week. Take care.